In this video, we're going to cover more of the advanced settings on the sensor comfort. And again, like part one, it mainly relates to the sensor comfort as your main room thermostat. So to start with, we need to press the three horizontal lines twice to get into the menus. Scroll down using the bar on the right hand side to get to settings, press tick. Down to install level, press tick. The code is 00, so just press tick again. And now we can see all this inf new information. Press tick to enter the competent person contact number. So this should be your installer. You can go down and see your service date. The fault history. Into installation configuration. Tick again to enter installation. So some of these options may be different in your control depending on the software version. But here we have the water pressure, various components connected to your system, adaptive heat curve, automatic cooling, Keep going down. Bivalence points so should be set at minus 20 unless you are using your system as a bivalent, meaning you have backup heaters built into the system and they come on at different temperatures. ESCO should be set as cooling off unless you have third party thermostats connected and wired into the EVU connection, then it should be down as heating off. Back out of this menu. System configuration. So generally, number eight is a volumizer slash two pipe buffer with no post buffer heating pump. And number 10 will be with a post buffer heating pump. Control configuration. So here you see options for pumps. So you can run additional pumps off the system, such as a post buffer heating pump and a secondary circulation pump for the hot water. Heat pump one, you can see the status is off, current flow temperature of 55. Control module, heat pumps off currently. Into circuit one, here you can select the type of circuit you've got. So this should be set as a heating circuit, and this then gives you the option for weather compensation. OT switch off threshold. So this is a temperature that when the outside reaches their set value, it will switch to heating off and not produce any heat for the heating system until it drops below this value. So once it drops below 19, it'll resume heating. And when it gets to 19 and above, it'll stop. This does not affect hot water production at all. Here's your heat curve. We've gone over this in a different video. You can increase it or decrease it by small amounts each time. Minimum target flow temperature, so this is a minimum temperature of heat and water supplied to the heating system. Maximum target flow is the maximum allowed to this heating system. Setback mode should be set as normal if you're using the sensor comfort as a room thermostat. If it is set to eco, what you'll find is it'll be just in frost protection mode out of the times you've programmed to heat. Room temp mode. So we have inactive, which is just using pure weather compensation with no room influence. Active adjusts the flow based on the current room temperature. And expanded is how it is set as a room thermostat. So you can use a sensor comfort as a room thermostat with weather compensation. Zone one, here you can see the zone activated and it's by this control domestic hot water settings. So you can see the cylinders active. You can disable hot water completely by here by clicking inactive. Target flow temperature when it's running, circulation pumps, Legionella day. So you can set your Legionella to either be off Monday to Friday or set it daily. Legionella time, ideal if you have an off peak electric tariff or PV and you want to make the most of it. Cylinder charge in hysteresis. So what this means is if you've got the hot water set to 50 degrees C, it has to drop five degrees before it's allowed to reheat it again. So it drops to 45 and then it charges back up to 50. This can be adjusted in this menu by pressing tick to enter and then up to increase it or down to decrease it. Tick once you're happy. Cylinder charge in offset. So if you've got a set temperature for your hot water of 50 degrees C, this will make the heat pump look for a flow temperature of 60 degrees C to then bring the hot water up to temperature. From factory, these are set at 25. It should be down to around 10. Maximum cylinder charge in time. So this is a maximum time that the hot water can be produced without interruption from any other influence. Cylinder anti-charge in time is the amount of wait time between charge and the hot water cycles that it can do. 
So, for instance, if you're running on timers and you only have hot water to come on in the evenings and your hot water tank is really cold, if this is set too low, it might have a long wait between heating up. So I find it's always best to set this one at 120, which is its maximum, and then this one down to zero. Out of this menu, and you can see the screen drying profile. So in here, it's got a preset screen drying program, and you can adjust all this as you need. Noise reduction mode. So in this, you can set schedules where you can reduce the capacity of the heat pump by up to 60% and just run it quieter overnight. So we dry in again to heat and circuit one, and you can select the day and the temperature of which you want to start it at. And that covers it.